In this video, we're gonna speak about the wheels. First information is when you make competition, especially on indoor or on track, it's very important to use very, very new wheels. I see many skaters that sometimes try to uh, take out the first pl plastic uh, part of the wheels before the race. Uh, it's quite a big mistake, I think. It's very, very important to have brand new wheels when you make competition. There is big difference when the wheels they are really new, really shiny like this, and when they stay soft in the, in, in the upper part, and when you still feel the little uh, middle part here, that's much better. The new wheels are very new. Out of the package, they will get much more grip. For example, those ones still look quite new, but uh, there is still a little line in the middle, but there is already uh, some uh, dust on one side and uh, it will be much more slippery uh, in the corners. When I go for a time trial race, a 300 meters on a track, for example, uh, most of the time I take really really new wheels uh, just uh, out of the box sometimes i even change the wheels uh, in the middle of the track so i'm sure i get really new wheels at the start of the race so it's really important uh, to have a lot of grip when you go sprint uh, in the corner so you need really new wheels for this event make big difference uh, compared to a set of wheels who already have dust like this uh, it will uh, it will be much more slippery When you start skating the wheels are new and slowly they will get more and more dirty and uh, there will start to be some dust on the on the urethanes and uh, slowly you will start to lose the line in the middle so then the wheels start to get uh, used and not so so good for a race uh, if you keep training on them and do a more and more race or more and more training then the wheels start to lose the shape they will become some flat part and the middle of the wheels will move to the sides. So after the dust moment, the wheels start to be more destroyed and it will not uh, be uh, shiny and smooth uh, aspect in the upper part. So then the wheels start to be uh, much more slippery and uh, it's much make big difference in the corner and straight line. So you can feel when you put your finger on it, it's much more rough and a much more different feeling than when it's new. Then when it's like this, it's already quite used. Uh, if you keep using the wheels a lot, then the shape of the wheel will start to move. Let me uh, draw you uh, what can happen uh, in terms of technique when uh, the wheel's uh, shape is different. So um, when the wheels are new, they are all uh, on the same line. When you take the center of the wheels there is this small line and it's a good way to check that all the wheels they will stand uh, on the same line it makes uh, quite some difference um, then the more the wheels stay on the same line the more roll uh, you will get uh, when the wheels start to get a bit um, used then the wheels uh, especially the front one if you never change the position of the wheels the center of the wheels will move a little bit to the side here and a uh, little less in the middle and sometimes the back wheels stay good so then they are, the wheels are not really in the same line and it will uh, you will get more less roll out of it also the consequence is uh, that uh, your skating uh, angle like this in direction will uh, look little bit open so uh, it will be uh, more difficult to push on the side later so if my wheels uh, don't get, uh, uh, if I never change the position, they get more and more used. And at the end, it's I exaggerate a little bit, but the angle of the wheels will be a little bit like this. So it will be very difficult uh, to keep the push on the side because the skate is already a bit open. So you want then to go more to the back directly. As soon as the ground will uh, go like this, it will grip with the wheels like this 
here and here and it brings it brings your skate much faster to the back so it's really important to keep the wheels as much possible aligned and uh, when they are very old if you use them the whole winter in a training for example after a while they get very used and uh, it creates this little effect that is uh, not so good for keeping a good technique so here for example you can see that the wheels uh, shape is uh, quite different from uh, when it was new it's the center is not really in the center anymore and uh, it will uh, have uh, some consequence on my technique also when i look like this i change the position of the wheels a little bit uh, some time to time so the three uh, new center of the wheel is not really aligned and uh, i will lose a lot of balance and also a lot of power in this I just draw um, how the wheels uh, are more or less when they are new so you still have the round shape at the top and uh, you, you can still always have the little line in the middle of the wheels that uh, show that the wheel is still uh, good uh, for training and racing when you use it a lot and when you do a lot of sprint and uh, on uh, asphalt that destroy the wheels you get some slowly a flat part when you never turn the wheels then you have a steel round on one side and a flat. Uh, here you will never get grip anymore uh, for high speed. Here you still got good grip, but uh, not a very cool uh, feeling when you have to skate because the edge to edge is very destroyed. And here is when you have uh, wheels that are used in both sides, they are very destroyed both sides. Uh, actually, it's uh, not so good also to train on those because uh, you don't get the right feeling uh, for the shape of the wheels. Uh, when it's round like this, you can feel very good how to do the outside edge to the inside edge. It's very smooth and uh, when you train on a wheel with this shape or this shape, then uh, you lose the feeling of how to transfer your body weight correctly because uh, it's not possible to um, keep a good balance on this part of the wheels or on this both part of the wheels. So remember uh, the wheels can make a lot of difference, even if it's, if it's two sets of the same wheels, one new and one not new, uh, the new one will get way, way more grip uh, in a race and in training, so it's much better. Uh, there it can be about a one second difference on a 200 meters flying lap. It's about this difference when you have good wheels, new and uh, some uh, not new wheels. So it makes a huge difference. The, never believe that uh, Having uh, older wheels doesn't make difference. It's really, really big difference uh, for a race, especially. So also when you go to a competition, uh, make sure you save your wheels for the racing moment. So try to do the warm up on a different set of wheels that is already used uh, before, and uh, be ready to get used to new wheels just for the race. Save uh, the wheels as much as possible, and uh, if you can avoid to do the warm up time uh, on the new wheels, it's better because uh, you, will, you need to save your wheels for the weekend of racing and uh, most of the time there is a lot of race to do so the more you can keep your new wheels for the race the better it will be see some people uh, making a mistake and misunderstanding between having a good grip and uh, get uh, uh, having a glue feeling on the road so when you have grip means uh, you have good um, feeling in the corner to make the right push and you're still rolling fast when you are uh, glue with your wheels it's uh, it's very different than having grip it's just uh, you glue because you're you don't really have rolling, so it's a different feeling on skate that uh, you need to understand the difference. When your wheels are glue, it means they're also not rolling good. 
and uh, automatically it will give uh, something like a grip feeling except that you're also not going fast when you have grip uh, it's it's very good sign because uh, you can make the corner fast and uh, it means you have a lot of speed and still you can uh, grip to the ground